important changes affecting your 2023 tax refunds, make sure you're watching till the very, very end. We have changes for the dependent care expense. We have changes for the E. I see earned income credit, child tax credit. We also have changes to filing status form 1040, 1040SR. We have the filing due date for 2023, as well as the free file requirements. So make sure you're watching till the very, very end. So you have all of the information you need to file a correct 2022 tax return. This information is being shared from irs.gov maximum net earnings the maximum net self-employment earnings subject to the social security part of the self-employment tax is a hundred and forty seven thousand for 2022 standard mileage rate for 2022 the standard mileage rate for the cost of operating your car van pickup or panel truck for each mile of business is 58.5 cents per mile credits for sick and family leave for certain self-employed individuals are not available self-employed individuals can no longer claim those credits health coverage tax credit is not available the health coverage tax credit was not extended uh, credit for child and dependent care expenses the changes to the credit for child and dependent care expenses implemented by the american rescue plan act were not extended for 2022 the credit for the child and dependent care expense is non refundable that is non-refundable the dollar limit on qualifying expenses is three thousand for one qualifying person and six thousand for two or more qualifying persons the maximum credit amount allowed is 35 percent of your employment related expenses for more information you can search publication 503 on the irs.gov website child tax credit and additional child tax credit many changes to the child tax credit implemented by the american rescue plan were not extended for 2022 the initial credit amount of the child tax credit is now back to two thousand for each qualifying child the amount of the ctc that can be claimed as a refundable credit is limited as it was in 2020 except the maximum additional tax the additional child tax credit the actc amount was increased to 1500 for each qualifying child a child must be under the age of 17 at the end of 2022 to be a qualifying child for the child tax credit bona fide residents of puerto rico are no longer required to have three or more qualifying children to be eligible to claim the uh, additional child tax credit bona fide residents of puerto rico may be eligible to claim the additional child tax credit if they have one or more qualifying children for more information see instructions for schedule 8812 form 1040 and that can be found on the irs.gov website Changes to the Earned Income Credit, the EIC, the enhancements for taxpayers without a qualifying child that applied for 2021 do not apply for 2022. This means to claim the EIC without a qualifying child in 2022, you must be at least age 25, but under age 65 at the end of 2022. If you are married and filing a joint return, Either you or your spouse must be at least age 25, but under age 65 at the end of 2022. It does not matter which spouse meets the age requirements for the uh, married couple filing jointly for the EIC. Filing status name change uh, for qualifying survivor spouse 
So the filing status qualifying widow or widower is now called qualifying survivor spouse. The rules for the filing status have not changed. The same rules that applied for qualifying widow or widower apply to qualifying survivor spouse. Okay. And standard deduction amount increase for 2022 the standard deduction amount was increased for all filers single or married filing separately 12,950 married filing jointly or qualifying surviving uh, spouse 25,900 head of household 19,400 uh, new lines 1A through 1Z on form 1040 and 1040SR. This year, line 1 is expanded and there are new lines 1A through 1Z. Some amounts that in prior years were reported on form 1040 and 1040SR are now reported on Schedule 1. Scholarship and fellowship grants that were not reported to you on form w2 are now reported on schedule one line 8r pension or annuity from a non-qualified deferred compensation plan or a non-governmental section 457 plan are now reported on schedule one line 8t wages earned while incarcerated are now reported on schedule one line 8U. New line 6C on form 1040 and 1040SR. A check box was added on line C. Taxpayers who elect to use the lump sum election method for their benefits will check this box. C line 6C. Non-taxable Medicaid waiver payment on Schedule 1 for 2021. Non-taxable amounts of Medicaid Waiver payments reported on Form 1040 Line 1 were excluded from income on Schedule 1 Line 8Z. For 2022, non-taxable amounts will be excluded on Schedule 1 Line 8S. Non-taxable comeback pay election. For 2021, individuals elected to include their non-taxable comeback pay in their earned income when figuring the earned income credit by reporting it on form 1040 or 1040 sr line 27 b for 2022 you will make this election by reporting non-taxable comeback pay on form 1040 or 1040 sr line 1i now for the uh, free file if your adjusted gross income was $73,000 or less in 2022, you can use the free tax software to prepare uh, your e-file return. Also, if you need assistance preparing your tax return for free, you can receive that service through the VITA program. Go to irs.gov, type in the search VITA for a Vita Center near you, and you can have someone, volunteer tax preparers, help you prepare your taxes. Now, the due date to file your 2022 tax return, file form 1040 or 1040SR by April 18, 2023. The due the due date is April 18 instead of April 15 because of the Emancipation Day holiday in the District of Columbia, even if you do not live in the District of Columbia. So these are all of the important changes that you need to know. Make sure you take these, uh, these uh, information, take the updates with you when you go to prepare your taxes take them with you take this recording with you to your tax preparer make sure that you are exploring all deductions and all credits 
and uh, make sure you are completing your 2022 tax return correctly so there are no delays and you get your 2023 tax refund within that 21 days don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and come back for all of the information that matters to you most because I am doing the research, so you do not have to. And I will see every one of you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.